This next topic is something that is really near and dear to me because I love to have a moment at times where I don't want to read. So I want to make Microsoft Word go in and do it for me. What I've done in this particular case is I've gone in to my particular site at www.upbyone.com and I have put in one of the article posts that I wrote for blogging. The goal here is to go ahead and add in the icon that we need to make Microsoft Word speak to us. And we can do so by looking up here at the very top. There is a little arrow that we're going to click and that's going to allow us to go down and select more commands. By doing this, we're going to find the icon that's going to allow the word product to speak to us. Under choose commands from, you're going to click the drop down. For me, it is a lot easier for me to find it if I choose all commands. By doing so, I'm going to scroll all the way down until I get near the letter S as in Sam. And at that point, when I do find what I'm looking for, I'm going to slow down just a little bit until I look for the word speak. And in this particular case, here it is, so I click it. Over in the middle, I look for this button and click add. And at this point, speak has been added to the quick access toolbar, so I'm going to click OK. Now I can see that that is present. To get started, the first thing I'm going to do is click in the middle of my text. And I'm going to hold down the control key on my keyboard. And at the same time, I will press the letter A, and I'll release both the Control and the A key. So all my text is selected. At this point, to get started, all you need to do is just click Speak Selected Text. Blogging is a useful tool. Its name is based on Weblog. And there you have it. So at that point, you notice that it begins to speak to you. And in my case, my volume was a little bit lower. So all you need to do is just make yours a little bit louder. That concludes our session for how to make Microsoft Word speak and read text to speech out loud to you.